he was really particular about the heritage of his cows, that, uh, you know, the, what the bloodline was and all that. And, and uh, when, he, when, when he had, it, he used to use some of the farmer's bull to impregnate the, the cows. But um, he was very careful about bloodlines. Anybody who raises ho racehorses is fantastic about the bloodlines of racehorses. Because if you have a, 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 a racehorse that some of these horses used for studs are literally worth millions of dollars. And if you're going to go to all that expense, you better have a good mare. Otherwise, you're kidding yourself. So the way bees normally do it, when, when they sense when the queen is starting to fade, she, the queen has a pheromone, and that's sort of an, order, a, a, an odor that they show out. When the, when the queen's starting to fade after she's two or three years old, the other the bees sense it, and they decide to raise a new queen. And they select a very newly hatched larva, or even a fresh egg, and they feed it with this royal jelly that I described to you. And it's just because of the diet that a regular run-of-the-mill worker bee becomes a queen because of the diet. I mean, it's, that's also remarkable. And they build that the big queen cell. They it looks like they, a they peanut. A queen but, cell. but they've they already fed her for a number of days on the royal jelly before they, they, they build the queen. And they cell. pack. They put that royal jelly in the queen cell, and the queen lays the egg in there. Your hand. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the queen lays the egg in there, and they and they. Um, she develops, and they seal the egg. And after three weeks or so, you have a new queen. Uh, but they don't just raise one queen. They raise several queens. And when the queen matures and wants to come out, she starts chewing away the, the bottom of the cell so she can get out. Well, the bees keep that cell closed. When she's trying to get out, they keep packing wax, fresh wax because they let them emerge, maybe one here and a couple here. But they look, they test the, that newly emerged bee. Does she have all her wings? Does she have all her legs? Does she look healthy? Much like you would if you had a, a bunch of puppies. You had a dog who had a bunch of leather a litter of puppies, you're trying to sell the, the litter and a potential customer comes to look at the dog, they're going to look at the dog. They're going to handle the dog to see if it's, if it's a nervous dog or if it's a feisty dog or, if, you know, they, they try to sense, is that going to be a good dog? In a similar way, the, green, the queens look over the new queens and, and if they don't have, in other words, she will, they will eliminate the ones they don't think are, are good, and they try to emerge, let the best queen carry on. And then when, it's, then when they've made a decision, they either kill all the other queens, or the queens kill each other. And then they end up with one queen. But in other words, there is a selection process that goes on there. But now the vast number of bees, of queens, are raised artificially. They, it's, it's, it's not as very simple. It's a, they, they put hundreds of queen cells, artificial queen cells in, take out the queen, and the queens will lay fertilized eggs in those cells, and the worker bees will find out that there's, that there's a newly laid uh, egg in there, 
and they want to, they, they know that they don't have a queen, or they know their queen is no good, and they want to make a, set something off in their, in their computer that says, we need a queen. So every worker bees, all the worker bees, tries to raise, raise queens, and you can have on one rack alone, they, they, they have about three layers with maybe 10, they'll have maybe 30 queen cells raising queens, okay? Now, when the queen reaches maturity, they can tell by, by looking at the cell, you can tell if the queen is get ready to emerge. They take that queen, they put it in a, in a, in a, in a little bit of a nuke box, nucleus, we call it a nuke box, and uh, shortly thereafter, I don't know exactly how long, they put that queen, I, I, I knew a girl who did this, this was what she did for a living. She would put the queen bee in sort of a tube, not unlike a large straw, and they would put a gas in there that would knock the queen out, and then they would artificially inseminate it. And, and then the queen never got to fly around to see if she could find a boyfriend. The normal way is the queen would, would hatch, and after about within a few days after hatching, she would go looking for a boyfriend. And, and <laughs> it's, it's crazy, but the drone bees seem to congregate in a certain area, just like the boys hanging out at the corner drugstore, right? And she flies by and says, hey guys, how you doing, you know? And they all chase her. It's a game. So for, for a drone to impregnate the queen, he has to catch her. So he has to be a strong flyer and a fast flyer. The fastest flyer catches the queen. Now when, he, when, the, when the drone catches the queen, he grasps her and he has to fly they made on the on the air in the air. The only way they were made is in the air. A lot of insects is, uh, do it that way. So do eagles. In other words, they guarantee that they're the protege that's going to be the result of this union can fly for God's sake. That, you know, <laughs> that it's not born a cripple, right? They want to get good bloodlines. That's basic. So with artificial insemination. They just take the queen, put it in the, stool, in, in the queen, and rape the poor critter with this artificial, with, it, with, with artificial, they, 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 they squeeze the semen out of a drone. They don't know whether the drone, whether the, 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 the sperm is at the proper stage. Maybe it's too old, or maybe it's too young, who knows what. But they take, take some of this sperm and they rub it on in the right spots somewhere. <laughs> And they have impregnated the queen, and the poor queen never had a love life. You know, it, <laughs> it's, it's a it's, tragedy. We should we should make a law against it. it. They're mistreating our queens, and then the queens and then their progeny are very weak. Okay, so so and now now so what, what's happening with this? Infected. This is called commerce. The bees. What happens here? I got to change the tape. 